I was pushing for a long time to drop out of high school, but everyone thought about us f***ing stupid. Even my own business mentor was like, Ivan, don't do it, this f***ing ridiculous. Everyone else around me was like, dude, like, what are you doing? Now I look like I'm a genius for doing it and stuff like that, but at the time I looked just so f***ing stupid. So yeah, the, the reason behind why I dropped out of high school was because I genuinely at that point could not manage doing high school and business at the same time. I don't advocate dropping out of high school. I don't advocate dropping out of college. I don't advocate anything within that realm. I'm just sharing my personal experience because so many of you guys have asked. The reason I dropped out of high school was because, dude, I was, I was getting like two, three hours of sleep a night. I was trying to juggle both things. I've always just kind of had to make my own money, uh, be the man for myself. I take care of myself. Around the time that I dropped out of high school, or before then, I was just doing simple freelance work, you know, because to me that was a simple equation. Uh, you put time in and that equates a certain amount of money and then you put a value on what your time is worth and that's how much money you get per hour. Uh, so yeah, that's what I was doing. And then I got more into the business side of things. Uh, social media was a, initially how I first started, social media marketing. That was kind of how I got my start. That with my personal brand, which actually got me all those opportunities. I always emphasize to you guys that you really do need to pick and choose who you're friends with and that different people are gonna serve different purposes in your life and that's okay. So I've been super blessed this last like six months because I've met so many people whose vision aligns with mine and it's so cool to see, you know, people like Reed just going places 17. One of my friends, Ted, he's 18, going places. Even meeting people who are a lot older than me, people like Quinton, who good friends with, he's whatever, 23. One of my friends, Bob, he's an investor. I'm, I'll show you guys a bit more of him. He's coming literally to London, staying with me tomorrow. It's so, so cool. And you guys, don't underestimate the sort of energy you can get from other people. It really, really does spread. So if you're hanging around, and I hate to say it, a bunch of losers, if you're hanging around people who don't really understand what you're trying to do, that dampens your energy. Now, I don't want to get too esoteric with this, but look, I really do believe that there's like a subliminal energy and that we're all sort of, you know, outputting a different energy. If you're trying to be on one wavelength and someone else is on another, it just, it won't work, guys. And for a long time, I was sort of, I'd say lonely. I would have friends, I would have friends that I joke with, but I, for a long time there was people that were in my life, but I couldn't really share my vision with, I couldn't, I couldn't talk to openly about my goals and my aspirations, and you end up feeling quite lonely from that, and it's something I had to deal with for quite a while, but look, that's fine. Honestly, I would rather be alone with my own thoughts than with people who are negative, berate what I'm trying to do in my life, because at the, end of, at the end of the day, those people are just scared that you're gonna rise up and find no use from them anymore. Don't get angry at people when they throw negativity, throw hate your way, because at the end of the day, they're just scared that you're gonna develop so much that you find no use from them anymore. I've seen that time and time again in my life, and it's something I've sort of had to move past. So I know there's a lot of you guys watching who, you know, you have friends who don't really understand what you're trying to do. Don't get angry at them but also you don't need that shit in your life. Cut that out immediately. Trust me, being lonely for the next couple months, couple years, it's gonna be fine because there's someone out there who loves what you're trying to do. They love the, they love the vision you have, the drive you have, the passion you have. Look, you could be into the weirdest shit. It doesn't matter, there's someone out there who shares that same interest, same, shares that same passion. And once you meet that person, I swear the amount of energy you guys will bounce off each other, it's incredible and it's worth it. Start your business, you start your online business while you're in high school, while you're in college, while you're doing your job. And then it gets to the point, it gets the tipping point, right? Where you have enough money from your online business or whichever business you're doing that it can sustain your lifestyle. You know, so I figured out what is my overhead? And this is this, like, people think, oh, you man, you took the risk, you burned the bridges, you dropped out of high school. No, I thought about it systematically. How many months do you think you need in savings um, to make this like a viable option. And I went, okay, I need four months because four months will give me enough time. Like I'm already in that mentality, sink or swim, but four months is enough time for me to really get my shit together and, and take this properly. Okay, so I go, I need 10,000 pounds basically. And I need to get 10,000 pounds and I need that either lump sum, 
in deposit or written contract, right? Binding written contract. So I go, all right, what's my time frame to do this? Because you need a time frame for these goals. I go, okay, if I can do it in the next eight weeks, then I'm gonna drop out. And I did it in two and a half, roughly. In two and a half, I signed three and a half thousand a month pounds in retainers, binding contract. Um, and those contracts, all those contracts were th are for three months. So if you average it out, the last month lost, it made roughly 2,500 pounds. So that is uh, that was my thinking behind how to drop out of high school. You know, uh, show that you're putting in effort and uh, yeah, you can drop out of high school before 18. But I do not recommend it for pretty much 99% of you. You know, I, I knew I was gonna make it happen uh, because keep in mind, I had a track record, you know? I've been reading a book a week since I was 14. You know, I had, I've built up discipline, I've built up a work ethic, you know? So for me, I had a really good skill set going into this now. How are you actually gonna make that money? You know, how are you even gonna get to your, how are you gonna get to tipping point? How are you gonna get to the overhead you need to get to? Realistically, and as I said, I have no attachment to any sort of financial vehicle out there. Um, realistically, online business is the only way to grow that quickly and scale that quickly. So, you know, in terms of online business, you have Amazon FBA, which is great. You know, there's people crushing it, um, but you need a bit of a startup cost for that. If you do, go for it. You've got um, uh, you've got uh, drop shipping. Once again, great. You've got affiliate marketing. Once again, great. With uh, um, with a FBA and affiliate marketing, really, if you want to get started properly, um, you need at least, a, a, I would say, at least a grand to three grand. Um, then you've got stuff like social media marketing. Uh, once again, that's great because uh, you don't really need much equipment. You know, you can start running ads. You can start doing the uh, the the management and the growth of uh, cl uh, clients' pages. And like, what to get one client at a K is so f***ing easy. You know, and now you're making 1K a month and that, that's great. That For most of you guys, I'll even cover your overhead. The next one is friendships. You know, a lot of people out there, if you don't talk to them for a while, they'll be like, oh, you switched on me or you turned on me or you're a fake friend. It's like, no. And, and luckily I never had this in, in my friend group, uh, you know, or at least seriously, but it's like, no, I'm, I'm not a fake friend. I'm just trying to build my future and I'm busy. So I can't talk to you every day or see you three times a week, all right? So you should feel absolutely zero remorse and for six months, you know, you gotta hide in your office or hide in your bedroom or do whatever and immerse yourself in work. So that way you can come out on the other side. A lot of the time, you know, even with some of my best friends, I've had it where it comes across that maybe I'm, I'm a little snobby or maybe I think a little bit too much of myself or something along those lines, but that's not it at all. It's just, I literally have to be selfish with my time and my energy in order to long term take care of my friends when they need me. You know, just remember that if your friends are telling you you're a fake friend or you switched on us or this thing, it might hurt a little, but ignore the noise. All that is is noise and it brings along a sense of guilt that it really you shouldn't have because yeah, maybe short term you can't see your friends as much, whoop de doo but long term, if you build an incredible business and you have more resources, you can do more cool things with your friends. You can take care of some of your friends if, if they actually deserve it. And you can also build a business that then you can be hands off with. You know, if you build a successful agency, you can then be hands off with. And then anytime they do ring you for a coffee, you can actually guilt free, go ahead and have a coffee with them or go on a holiday with them or whatever the case may be. I hope this video has been helpful in terms of just taking this weight on your shoulder, feeling as though you have to make your parents happy. You have to make your friends happy. You have to make your partner happy. And long-term you should, you should have a great relationship with all these people, but short-term you're gonna have to make some sacrifices. You're gonna have to put your foot down. And you're gonna have to be a little bit selfish. So the long-term you can have even better relationships with all these people. You know, you can show up better and be a better friend, a better son or daughter or a better partner for the person that you're with. 